a brand pyrobono caution no the radia catcher mini and num open me nakoma papenti unyamia sadu ome ashemi sedi the pnt misiano amen Says he's the nation's prophet. <laughs> prophet Owusu Bempa. <laughs> prophet Owusu Bempa is in our midst. We we have you as the spiritual leaders of this land are the prophets who must provide the guidance to lead Ghana out of this crisis and preserve our peace, prosperity, and progress. My dear fathers and mothers in the Lord, your wisdom and dedication to truth. Uh, what Ghana desperately needs now. All right, Abusia, Mamunina Kwaba, Edba K. Lover Media, so Lovers TV Africa, Esuni. Finally, finally, Reverend Dr. Zeku Subempa will be in our no Akase John Dramani Mahama and I'm Nakuma Painty when you may assign your main Ashenensa. May Baba Mardi break down in a but Mardi also be subscribed to the channel and I. We love us TV Africa and of course K Lover Media. I take the honor and the people shall start celebrating. And the people shall rejoice. No shana wo shano abemo. I got my victory. In your tofu no more here. In your tofu no more here. Under this anointing, Reverend Owusu Bempa says he has one thing to say. And he said, I should say it. But I said to him, this is bigger than my mouth. He who heard from God must say it. Reverend. Hallelujah. Abraham Paibono Koshono. The Radia Kachemini. And Nam. Openi Nakoma Papenti. Unyamia Sadu Omei Ashemi Sedi. Thank you, thank you very much. Shall we all resume our seats? Shall we all? Afia Busia, me pacho ti in samoa ya papa John Dramani Mahama. What do you do? Na what you say say the prophetic ministry no and non a bit and no best support a can say or money be year the prophetic ministry a can as my papa John Dramani Mahama Kai and no and me all Cassano na a yammy de say ye papa Reverend Doctor Zikus and Passo Hobi She would a mean tea papa John Dramani Mahama mra. It's in a wants to drop your comments. Drop your comments. Na ye in charge your mini the anthem. Lovers TV Africa, K Lover Media, Esuni. Video credits near Wizard. And even in biblical times, crises have been described in many of the books of the Holy Bible. We are at the time of crisis in our nation as described in the book of Genesis, and that is Genesis 47 15, when money had failed the servant of God to rescue Egypt and his family from the famine. This biblical story resonates deeply with our current reality. We live in a time of great uncertainty, but the church remains the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. As a son of the church, I come before you in humility, seeking your intercession and counsel as I lead my party in our mission 
to rescue our nation from the current leadership failure that we see. Hosea in 1213 tells us that by a prophet, by a prophet, the Lord led Israel out of oppression in Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. You as the spiritual leaders of this land are the prophets who must provide the guidance to lead Ghana out of this crisis and preserve our peace, prosperity, and progress. My dear fathers and mothers in the Lord, your wisdom and dedication to truth are what Ghana desperately needs now. In these difficult times, we need spiritual leaders who are committed to righteousness, like the leaders of the Church of Ephesus in Revelation 2, 2, who could not tolerate evil and exposed false apostles. You are called to stand against deception and lead the people on the right path. As Paul reminds us in Galatians 6.10, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. I pledge to work tirelessly with my team to address our nation's unprecedented crisis and bring about the socioeconomic transformation we all so desperately need. I continue to seek your invaluable counsel and rely on your wisdom in government as we navigate these challenges together. As president, I commit to upholding truth and integrity and will always be transparent about the state of the nation and remain humble enough to admit if we make mistakes. In a recent engagement with church leaders in Ho, in the Volta region, I committed to establish a national day of prayer and thanksgiving should I be elected president. <laughs> Maybe I should say when I am elected president, by the grace of God in the upcoming elections. <laughs> this initiative for a national day of prayer and thanksgiving stems from my belief in the power of prayer and reverence for God as essential elements for the success of any nation. And I reaffirm this pledge to you today. The National Day of Prayer and Thanksgiving will serve as a day of intercession, promoting national unity and cohesion, which are vital for our country's development and growth. We will prioritize religious freedoms, recognizing that churches are not only places of worship, but also centers for social upliftment, compassion, and moral leadership. By fostering a supportive environment for faith-based institutions, we will be investing in the moral strength of our own society. Under a John Mahama presidency, the freedom of religion will be protected, as specified in our constitution. Leaders of faith and their works will not be subjected to harassment or attacks. Our goal is to create communities where worship and learning can thrive in peace, meeting our people's spiritual and educational needs with dignity. A key component of the next NDC's government will be to partner with religious organizations to invest in income-generating activities, both for the benefit of the churches and their congregations. An NDC government will prioritize investments in agriculture and